Hi, if you're watching this video, that means you are a brand new seventh grader to Cambridge Virtual Academy and you are in my seventh grade science class. So um, just about five minutes here, let me run you through some of the ins and outs of what to expect, where to go online, and just support in general. Uh, you'll also uh, take a look at the description below. There'll be links as well to outside programs, um, an intro video uh, from me, Mr. Pojo, a little bit about who I am. So make sure to check that out as a resource again down in the description. All right, so first and foremost, please make sure to uh, access and go straight to eCadence for everything related to your classes. Uh, our instruction is organized by modules for science class. That pretty much is a fancy way of saying a week of work. So this week, for example, on January 25th, uh, our seventh grade science class is wrapping up their module on element research and our chemistry superhero co uh, comic. You can take a click right here and you'll be able to see everything for our modules. Uh, the point ones for any given module is always going to be our instructions for the week. My instructions for the week is going to have everything outlined from your learning objectives to our overview. I even like to give a tentative timeline um, because everything is due at the end of the week, Thursday night at 10 p.m. before class starts on Friday. But I do like to give a tentative timeline because I think that's going to help with your um, organization and time management. So always check out and read the first page. Uh, second page is going to be links to instruction slides. Um, these are the Google Slides. You'll see 3.2 in eCadence, but these are the slides uh, linked here as well that I pretty much use during class to go over instruction. Uh, I also have our discussion copied from 3.3, and point three is always a discussion. And then each of the assignments, you'll see each assignment is going to have a time frame. Uh, usually that's colored in this blue. And also instructions, overview, and a learning goal for each individual assignment. So it's always important to read through the point one of any given module. If you want to review slides for the week that I go through during class, we have class on Friday. Uh, you either have class with me at 8 a.m. or at 8.55, one of the two periods, 8 a.m. being period one, 8.55 being period two. Uh, but these are the slides that um, I will go over, and it's always point two. Again, this week we're focused on chemistry and our superhero project and a deep dive in the periodic table and looking at elements. Um, point four, five, six, and seven are gonna be your assignments. There's not always uh, four assignments, but there are a couple programs that I wanna make sure that you start to get comfortable with. Uh, Edpuzzle is one of them. All you have to do is go to www.edpuzzle.com and you will get access to the class. You will need an invite code. So if you're in my period one, uh, you could access Edpuzzle simply by going to Edpuzzle and putting in B-E-T-G-O-C-E. -E. But again, I will have that link in the description. You could just click on the description in the chat box if you're in my 8 a.m. class. If you are in period two or the 8.55 a.m. start time, that code for Edpuzzle is U-W-I-V-E-D-A. Again, I'll have that link copied in the description below. And lastly, I do want to show you another outside program that we use a lot. In fact, this week we're doing an element builder that has to do with a simulation through Gizmo. And to go to Gizmo, you need to authenticate. And this is something that you will need to do uh, in Anaheim with many different outside programs. But you want to go to www.clever.com. This is uh, essentially an authentication website. Uh, you're going to log in as a student. Obviously, I'm going to log in as a staff member. Uh, always make sure to click log in with Google. Uh, it's going to know your ID. It's going to help you out rather than having to type it in again. Always log in with Google. We are a Google school, which means your Google account, even though it's uh, your student number at student.auhsd.us, it is still a Google account. So go ahead and log in with Google. I have Gizmo right here. This G rostering app is one of my favorites. If you have uh, other outside programs like here, for example, say your teacher uses Nearpod, you can click on the heart right here and that's going to favorite this program. So it'll pop it up here in the favorites. But you're going to click on Gizmo and Clever is going to authenticate you, which means you now have unlimited time frame to access your Gizmo simulations. I have different periods. Um, but you'll be able to access your gizmo, for example, on Element Builder right here. There is a correlated Google assignment that goes with it. So I'm going to give you my favorite example of how to do uh, gizmos. Again, once you have access 
to this simulation. It will need to, you'll be pairing it with your actual Google assignment. So I'll go back to Gizmo Element Builder here and you'll be accessing the Google assignment right here in eCadence on 3.7. In fact, 3.6 is also a Google assignment. You're going to go ahead and uh, click as a student. You have something that says start assignment right here as a teacher version. I don't have it, uh, but I do have a copy of it. And I always like to make copies in my instructions for the week. Don't do the assignments here. Make sure to do them as a Google assignment in eCadence. But this is what your Google assignment will look like for 3.7 or any um, gizmo. Gizmo is always going to have a title and in that title, uh, you could also click and it just hyperlinks right into the simulation that we just opened. So I'll open it up again. But um, again, you have to authenticate first. So once you have your gizmo, I highly suggest split screening for any gizmo assignment because as you uh, answer your Google assignment by manipulating the gizmo, you could have like two screens in one. So that's one of my suggestions for gizmos. Um, that's pretty much about it for my class. I'm sure there's gonna be other things that are gonna help you out with being a CVA student, but this is just a quick introduction video. I'll have my email below. Please feel free to email me if you have any questions or comments. Uh, you could also make comments, any cadence on assignments and teachers can get back to you there. But again, just to summarize, when you look at your modules, uh, please make sure to read the instructions for the week. When you read these instructions for the week, they will have everything for you and your assignments will be numbered here. For Mr. Pojo's class, you'll always have point one with a Google for, uh, assignment, uh, excuse me, a Google document that has all of the instructions for the week. 3.2 are going to be the slides that we use during class and 3.3 will always be your discussion. Um, your discussion requires you to write a 150 word initial post and also reply to two students by the end of the week with a 50 word post, something as simple as, um, oh, I see uh, that you chose magneto and talked about magnetism. Well, I have a thought about this and this with chemistry and elements and what you wrote about magneto. Of course, every discussion is unique, um, but you will need to write a 150 word initial post and then reply to two other students after, again, with 50 words minimum. And then after 3.4 or 4.4 or 5, uh, 5.4 and on after any of these 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 and 0.7s are gonna be your actual assignments. So I hope that helps. Uh, one more time, check the description below for a personalized uh, introduction about Mr. Pojo. Uh, you'll get a chance to meet Melody, uh, my daughter, and um, a little bit about Mr. Pojo. And I'll also have some links uh, below that will help you access your Edpuzzle depending on what class you're in. Hope that helps. Nice meeting you. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to email Mr. Pojo. See you. Have a nice day.